All right, September 6, 2010. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, some things I've been doing lately with the uh, laser engraver. Uh, this has the uh, DSP controller from uh, lightobject.com. Uh, you might have noticed in my last video I had a couple of uh, cool little engravings of uh, old Abe Lincoln. Uh, anyway, I uh, wanted to show you some nice uh, pseudo 3D uh, and how I, how I do it. Uh, here's a picture that I uh, downloaded from Google Images uh, straight off the web. Okay, so I take that picture into uh, Corel. Actually, here's Corel Photo Paint, uh, where I uh, I'm not here to teach you how to do all of this, but I basically just drew an oval around it. I flooded the exterior. Sorry about my focus on the camera. I, I drew an oval around it. I flooded the exterior with white. I uh, increased the contrast uh, substantially in the photo. Save that as a bitmap. Okay. And then uh, this is Corel Draw, where uh, you can see I've got a pretty small, small uh, picture here. The uh, pseudo 3D looks a lot better when you do it small. Uh, than if you were to do a large object because the laser can only burn so deep and if you want things to look deep in the final result uh, it needs to be kind of small for the proper uh, depth of field. Um, so what I'm going to do is if I were to take this right now and just hit the uh, laser program you can see what it does. It, it, it converts it at 127, um, which you know that's half the black and half the white. It it did an automatic conversion of that particular image to black and white. Um, kind of poor result here, uh, but that's I didn't prep the image uh, with the right contrasts to do this. But what I'm going to do is is close this, and I'm going to take this image, and I'm going to go up here to bitmaps. And uh, whoops, I have to click click the image first. I'm going to go to bitmaps and say convert to bitmap. And uh, what I'm doing is a black and white one bit uh, with a resolution of 900 dots per inch. And it's going to be anti aliased and dithered. And if I hit OK, uh, we've just converted it. And if we zoom way in, we can see pure blacks and pure whites. And it's simply the density of those black and whites that uh, provides the image. All right. And now when I uh, go to laser control, uh, you can see that it's ready to do there. Uh, oops, I want to do one more thing. Just for fun, I'm going to uh, draw a circle around it. Um, I did that by grabbing the circle. Uh, I'm going to come over here and shrink it to size. Sorry, it's hard for me to hold this camera and do this at the same time. Um, what I'm trying to do is make this circle completely surround the other circle. And there it's done. Uh, so what this is going to do, if I were doing uh, this engraving into a thin piece of wood, you'll see a couple options appear here. It's going to take the... Uh, let me see if I can zoom in. It doesn't want to focus too well. But it's going to take the uh, bitmap and raster scan it. Uh, but since I drew another uh, circle on there, uh, I get the option to laser cut it. Now I've already prepped these uh, settings ahead of time. I, I like to, uh, depending on the material, you know, I'll, I'll cut it at five millimeters per second at 100 percent power. And you can see I'm going to be rastering, because I want it to be pretty deep and my laser is only a 40 watt laser. I'm going to go to 100 percent power and uh, raster it at 80 millimeters 
per second. Now let me go ahead and slip in a piece of wood. And check my focus. I use a little, uh, just a piece of wood that I say is focus depth and I just check it to make sure and I can take the table up and down. This is, this is good enough. And give it a little air. And I close the lid. And we'll come over here and uh, hit process. So that's uh, doing its thing. And over here, uh, it's starting to process. Now, the nice thing about this DSP is uh, if your image is only so big, it only, you know, sweeps that big. Uh, depending on the speed that you're asking it to sweep, it may overextend on either side, uh, keeping the laser off, just so that it can have the high velocity as it uh, comes across. All right, I'll... Uh, Try to keep this going. All right, uh, here's Abraham Lincoln uh, being processed. Uh, we're nearing the bottom of the uh, oval. Uh, you'll notice when it completes that, it's going to go ahead and cut it out. Uh, if if this were the proper thickness of wood or or thin enough wood, it would indeed cut it out completely. Uh, but right now it's just going to cut a circle just to uh, show you, just as a demo. You got it, and it's done. Take this outside, see if we can get a close-up. Alright, you can start to see it. It needs to be cleaned up, of course, so it's got a lot of soot in there. Alright, there, uh, there it is after a little bit of cleanup. You can see it's cut. Uh, geez, almost a quarter, quarter inch deep. Uh, into there. So that was direct from the web an image a little bit of processing by uh, Corel Paint Corel Draw um, and then process with the DSP. So that's pretty good. Here's a, here's a couple more that I did. Uh, but what you what you really notice uh, if you look closely though is uh, you know it's not like a carving where depth is really coming out at you you know his 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 nose really moves inward instead of outward it just gives the illusion of uh, 3D depth but that being said I'm going to try another image that is prepared already for 3D and we'll see how that works out.